welcome to Coder Suggest. And today we will discuss about imputing the missing data using scikit-learn. So if you have been following through my videos, then you might have noticed that previously I have discussed a lot about filling in the missing data using pandas. But uh, let us say uh, I'm getting a little lazy. I don't want to do all that thing. I don't want to loop through the variables. I don't want to compute the mean, median, mode. So I just I just want I want something to build in. I, I want if there is something built in, I can just go make an object and use it to fill in my data and I'm good to go. So that's what we are going to discuss today. And it is a very good uh, thing which we are going to discuss. So uh, before proceeding, I would like to let you know that if you have not liked this video or if you have not subscribed to my channel, then please do that because going forward, we will be discussing a lot of cool things which are going on in data science and machine learning. Okay. So with that, uh, I have my Jupyter notebook open. So in order to demonstrate that first, I would like to import the libraries. So let me create a heading here and I'll write importing the libraries. Okay. And I say this is a markdown. Okay. Now, first of all, I will import my pandas. So I will write import pandas as PD. Then after I would import import numpy and NP and import sk learn i think i will write it like i don't need to write the complete sk learn so one thing i would like to let you know that if i write import sk learn then what it will do that it will load all the packages from uh, modules from sk learn which i do not want okay so i just want to simply impute the module i want so I'll write from sklearn uh, sklearn dot imputer import simple I'm not sure what the spelling is but I hope this is correct okay so Let's run it. And I wish we have not made any mistake. Okay. There is no package. There is no module named sklearn.imputer. So let me try this thing. Otherwise, we will head over to scikit-learn package. So I have it open here. So it is okay. So sklearn.impute. So we need to write it as sklearn.impute import simple imputer. Oh, let me just copy it from here. I think I'm making some mistake. Okay. And I'll write from sklearn.impute import simple imputer. Then I'll write data equals to and I'll use pandas read CSV and for the purpose of demonstration as we have going uh, use house price seat in the past so that will be easier to follow for you also so I am imputing the house price dot CSV okay now uh, first of all I would like to demonstrate about how to impute the mean or median uh, in context of numerical variables so I have chosen some numerical variables here because otherwise it will be a lot of variable and the purpose will be lost. So that will be a lot of confusion, but you, you can write a number of columns here. So that is just like that. You can uh, use them. So I am saying use calls equals to and uh, rather than doing this, let me just create a variable for that. So I will, I will write numeric underscore calls and these are the columns which I intend to use so uh, we can just do a little bit formatting also but that is a thing of later time so let us run it it does no harm at this moment of time and we have 
plenty of space on our screen okay so use calls equals to numerical call calls so what i am telling pandas that read this csv file and only use these columns i mean do not uh, import all the column just these one will do okay so now i'll write data dot head okay cool so i have run it and you can see the top five rows or you can look at the tail also so if you want to look at the bottom five then you can use tail and and this thing goes on i have discussed this thing in detail in my previous videos on pandas so you can just have a look at those and uh, now let us see that do we have a, so these are all numerical variables okay so now let us say that you want to see whether we have any missing values in here so i will write ends dot mean and you can see that uh, we have couple of variables which are having uh, missing values so this one has uh, 17% and this has nearly 5% okay so now uh, what we need to do uh, we need to create an object of this simple imputer okay so i will uh, give you a walk through what it is so first of all let me write imputer equals to simple imputer okay and now let me head over to the uh, scikit-learn simple imputer page so here if you see we have uh, this is a very good documentation and uh, i just want you to have a look at it and it says a lot so if you want like first thing is that missing underscore values so these are the i will only uh, use the important parameters so let us say i first parameter is missing value so what it is so it is that um, different data frames has uh, different values which are considered as missing so let us say it is not necessary that every time you will get a np np dot nn or na as a uh, uh, null value okay uh, maybe maybe your variable is filled with something called missing or there is a value zero which is considered missing in some domain let us say uh, you are doing some survey and you do not find answer to any question and they just put zero in there so that is also uh, a null value in this case so what is this missing value so in the in this particular argument you have to provide what is your missing value let us say you want to consider zero as a missing value you need to input it here or if you want to say that n is my missing value then what you need to do so i will write missing underscore values what is the argument so okay so it is missing underscore values right so let me copy it here and i will write it np dot nn okay now another thing is uh, guys we have this thing strategy okay so strategy equals to so what strategy do we uh, want to follow so here let us use a equal sign and i will write strategy equals to and i will write it mean okay so now a part of that we have a lot of other very uh, arguments also and i will let you know about this so so uh, basically uh, I will uh, go through all these so let us just for now let us uh, go ahead and create an object of this okay so I have created an object of the simple imputer now what I'll do that I will uh, simply fit this imputer on my data okay so I'll write imputer dot fit and I want to fit it on my data okay so I'll simply provide my data frame here and now it is saying that I am a object of simple imputer okay so now let us say I want to see what my imputer has fit or what values it has fit on my data then I'll simply write imputer dot and I'll write statistics okay so if I do that then uh, you might have noticed that it has provided me these uh, 4 and 8 and 12 values so possibly we are using 12 uh, variables also in my data frame so 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11. 
so as uh, so it has provided a mean we have provided the strategy mean here so it has provided us with the mean of all these variables so if you want to verify that you can also write it by data.mean and you can cross check that the imputer has given us the correct data data so if you see here it is 56.8972 and similar things we are seeing here okay so that is the same thing so what imputer has that that we have fit the imputer on our data and we have calculated the mean now let us say we want to impute these values to our data then what we need to uh, write is we need to transform this so we need to write imputer dot transform and i'll need to write data so what we have done now is that we have transformed our data okay but you have noticed one thing here that now you see that uh, this is kind of an ugly looking uh, thing when you compare to the pendle data frame so what has happened here so remember that scikit-learn imputers uh, com uh, uh, converts your data frame into a numpy array okay so but uh, you might have noticed that that is not as much readable as we have the pandas data frame so for that we need to convert it back to our data frame so i will just uh, rename this for uh, better clarity so i will rename it pd.dataframe and now i will just simply write data okay and now i will have to also there is one argument columns equals to okay so i will have to also provide the name of uh, the columns so i will write numeric calls and if i run it then it has been run successfully and if i want to check okay so now if i see what is my data one then you can see that uh, we have the the data in our in our pandas data frame okay now I want to see that do we have any missing values here? So let us see. I want to say data dot is null dot mean. Okay. Then you say that mm -hmm. okay. So I think uh, something has gone wrong here. Okay, so you might have noticed that I have not rerun this cell. I did not rerun re this cell. So I have to write it as data equals to imputer dot transform and I need to store my values. So if I run it again and now if I go and I see, so you can see that uh, now the missing values have been all replaced with the mean, uh, mean. and uh, so this is very easy actually so the mistake i was doing that i have to store these data into a variable so in order to persist it so another thing i would like to discuss as i uh, i started with is that uh, the strategy we discussed about that if you want to impute the data not with the mean but with the median you simply have to write here median and another thing guys uh, I would like to mention is that uh, here there is one more thing and that is strategy equals to constant I think uh, constant so if you want to use constant so let us say you want to impute your data with some constant value and then I'll write here constant and then I need to pass an additional uh, argument and that will be my value so you have to provide that uh, value and uh, that value you need to write here if constant then replace missing value with fail underscore value okay so if you want to use this particular strategy then what you will have to do is that you will provide fail underscore value equals to your whatever you want to replace it with so let us say if you want to replace it with some value that is constant then you need to provide it in here okay so that is all for this video uh, we would uh, similarly we would use the most frequent also so in order to do that do that let us say you want to uh, uh, impute your data with the most frequent occurred category let us say you want to you are imputing the categorical data then i think just uh, copy this most frequent and just type in here in your strategy 
and then you are good to go you will just provide the missing values then your strategy will be most frequent and field value you, it is not required it is required in the case of constant and then you can get rid of it and what it will do that when you will fit your data on your uh, data set then it will automatically uh, capture the most frequent category and you can just simply use the transform okay so this is very easy and very uh, uh, like very handy and helpful and this can be used in pipeline also okay so that is all for this video i hope you have liked this uh, video if yes then please like this video and subscribe to my youtube channel thank you thanks for your time today bye bye guys